What is going on? Oh, that's her fish. All right, so I'm here fishing with uh, my oldest buddy. Say hello, man. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna edit that out, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. All right. And uh, we have uh, wasted most of a day trying to catfish and bass fish and to no avail. So now we are pan fishing because we just figured out that there's some decent sized shell crackers around and holes in loud cars. As soon as I start trying to fucking talk. I'm gonna try here. I had one bite twice and I couldn't get the damn thing. Are you pulling the hook set or are you just letting them hook set themselves? Because I'm all I'm doing is pulling them away from them. Yeah. God, these fish are so hardy. I'm gonna wrap it. What the? F I'm gonna try a bigger hook. These fuckers are pissing me off. I'm trying hooking the worm on there a third time. Yeah. Make it harder to get. I've wrapped it around the hook more so they're going to have to take it if they want it. I'm frustrated right now because I can't catch fish. So we don't have any big gold hooks anymore, do we? Uh, no, I don't pretty much don't buy them anymore. All right, I don't well, think we have any more. I guess I'll stick with the small ones then. Hmm. I, feel like they're, I feel like they're getting off these hooks too easy. Thank you. Just put them near the worms for me. I keep getting bit by something right here, and it's decent enough to pull that bobber good. Yeah. They are just, like, not getting set. I don't know what's going on. All right, there's one. Fighting pretty decent That's a nice one. for a bluegill. <laughs> All right, fish. Yep. All right, nice little bluegill, and they are uh, definitely starting to get really chilly. This is a cold fish. Got him. Decent fish. Real little bluegill. You wanna come over here and fish, bud? Right. Tiny bluegill. Yeah. Yeah, they're feeling awfully cold. throw out there far and see what that is blowing up out there. Might be crappy. Gotcha. Here we go. Yeah. They're biting at least. Just a bunch of uh, big school of bluegill I think. This one's got its gold and uh, orange colors on really good here. Mostly gold. Very nice. All right. You see the basically a big circle zone starting with that log right there. This whole big patch right out in front of me about, uh, about 10, 15 feet out. Anywhere in there, they'll start biting. 
little further in actually, uh, maybe like I don't know, five feet in. Whoa, I don't know what that was. I missed him. Yeah, probably. But the gills are all uh, collected up around here. So the bluegills have got to be all like collected up in this whole area, so. That's what I was thinking. I can see a fish I want blowing up right over there. And there he goes, he's got it. Just gotta wait for him to really take it. And I got him. Mm, nope. I'm trying to see what these things are over here. They won't cooperate. Come on. Shellcrackers, uh, they're kind of hard to catch. Uh, harder, harder than normal gills and stuff. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, let's. Uh, is it, what is that? Bluegill? Yeah, it's a gill. Okay. It's a very pale blue. All right, I got gotcha. you. I gotta see what these fish are over here. There's something over here I want. Look at that, it's like an instant bite. How? <sighs> something nice and big over here that keeps taking it. I just cannot get them. Probably is. And they're taking it like sudden and violent and it's not working. Under, it comes up and your worm's gone, right? Yep. That's what happened to me over there. Just right there. What the hell's going on today? This fish are sending me on a complete crack out session right now. Finally. What are you? That is a yellow perch. Oh, you got you a yellow perch. Yeah, it's been a while since we caught one of these. We never ate one of them. We never caught one. No wonder they're so tricky. These little suckers have like some of the smallest mouths. Huh, they squeak too. Um, smallest mouths in the fish world. And uh, their bite is like, at least we found, is just notoriously goofy. All right, so there we go. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Got him right in the hand. All right, so that's, that, I don't know, that's probably among the bigger yellow perch I've ever caught, actually. Yeah, you looked my hand any harder, you'd have been eating your camera for dinner. <laughs> All right, there we go. Nice little guy going back. No wonder they're so uh, tricky here. Yeah, see that. <laughs> I think uh, I think I'm gonna walk up to the crappy spot here and see what I can get. I keep seeing a fish jump. <sighs> All right, let's see if I can get anything out here. Oh come on! How did you not have that? Stole the worm, now I gotta walk all the way back there. Damn it. Ugh, a few travel worms. I see. Let's uh, keep trying over here, I guess. I brought us some travel worms. If nothing else, maybe I kept them around. I just can't believe it was uh, such a shitty day. I guess it's finally, finally getting cold enough now. It's basically gonna be winter conditions. 
I mean, you can catch them all in winter, but it's a lot harder because they're moving uh, slow and they're down deep and in places that you can't easily get to. I know. I mean, look at them. My bobber's out there just kind of like dancing around. And uh, I don't know why, but they're just like not taking it. Look at this. You know, this is the second time now that my reel has got harder to turn, but it's not, there's nothing wrong with it. I'll have to take a look at it. Might be some something caught up in there or something. Yeah, yeah. Son of a bitch, how did that not work? Oh. Yeah, he just pecked at it. It's like they're only half-heartedly interested or something. Yeah, I think so. Since he's leaving me the worm this time. Yeah. See, look, here's it's the same thing's going on right now with me. It's, it's him so many worms now. Ain't no wonder you don't want them anymore. God damn, missed him again. Yep. Let's see if two will get him going here. All right, there we go. Son of a bitch. For God's sake. Damn bluegill with a uh, kind of weird spot pattern here. There we go. Winter colors already. Yep. Oh, no, come on. Yeah, I'm getting there too. As soon as soon as it gets too dark to see, we're we're out of here. These fish <laughs> just these fish just suck today. It's a, what it is is it's a small school of bluegill. See, same thing. Couldn't get them. Like I said, said we were hooking those last year on a smaller hook. Yeah. I have to show you in the tent. Well, yeah, you know it was number eight. Yep. All right, there he is. Of course. Got him. Oh, look where I got him. I have no doubt. Oh. He didn't even bite it. I got him in the side. One in a million. That doesn't even count. That ain't a catch. That's a, a snag. Sorry, buddy. Um, you ain't... Can I see if you'd have bit my hook? That wouldn't have happened. Oh, you think he's trapped? Yeah, I got to let him out. <laughs> he got away. Wants to be an ass about it. <laughs> It's been a goofy day. I can't believe, though, that there's all these bait fish around here and we weren't able to catch a bass or, uh, or a catfish. I mean, they ought to be here feeding up on these guys. There we go. Oh, that's, that's yeah, decent. What's this one? He's fighting. It's just a bluegill. Look at this. We should have stayed on the other side. They're bigger over there. Come on. Really? Get out of there. There. All right. Nice uh, winter bluegill twitching. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on, honestly. He went right behind me, he caught the one I was after, and then he turned around and he caught another one right after that. Well, like you said, the one didn't count. He, he hooked one in the side. Yeah, that, that uh, technically that doesn't even, see, even count. See, see how the hook even caught there. I don't know. I don't know either. I, I think what it was is he took a swipe at it, and when they swiped, they turned. When he turned, you pulled. And... Yeah. Well, I don't see but uh, all, the, all the bigger fish are in, are in this area here. Every time I throw over here, I catch bigger ones, and... Um, there ain't nothing of any size over there for some reason. They must like the protection of this little cove or something. All right, new bait caster. I was gonna do a whole video about this thing, but I never got a chance. You what? I'm just talking to the camera. So you got a bite on that Cinco, huh? Right out. Somewhere out near at least. 
All right, in that case, I'm going to try. Uh... Now they left their rods here. Damn. Well, bass are, uh, like, even, if you think sunfish are tricky to catch, bass are even trickier with the bite. Well, I call it the curse of the camera. The second I turn this thing on, nothing happens.